This is the district's 2025 Take Your Kids to Work Day. We have nearly 100 kids registered and attending in Brooksville. We have 17 in Tampa. You're going to go and you're going to get to see what a lot of your parents do. Some of it actually percolates or moves down through the soil and into the aquifer. We go out and collect water. We put it in bottles. We are collecting information or data about the water. We're going to look. I call them bugs, but they're actually called macroinvertebrates. We're going to look at some of the things that live in the water. You guys are gonna have a great time. We're gonna mix in a lot of fun. I found a swim. It exposes them to a lot of different branches of not just science and engineering, but also the really crucial skill sets that help keep the district running. We got people that drive big tractors. Fisher's daughter, come on. This is the operations section. We are showing kids how to safely mount and dismount a bulldozer today. Your parents also help us stop people from flooding. Right? Your parents also help us identify water that we drink. Your parents sound pretty important, don't they? Today we're showing the kids how we light fires and how the fire behaves. There you go. We're also showing them how we operate our brush trucks, how we use it to assist in prescribed burning and to suppress fire. It's been great. They really love it. They love to see the fire on the ground and um, they're having a great time. We are learning that if you put diesel and stuff in it, it will work and not like just gasoline. And we are putting them buyers out and we were doing a challenge. I'm having fun. Learn a little bit about the district and learn about what's important to us, which is the environment and the water. The, the water quality is not good. Um, it's not good for us to drink. We won't have fresh water to drink. We got folks that make models. We're actually talking about what mapping in GIS is and how it pertains not only to the district but its importance to the district. We're showing off our drone a little bit and some of the technology we have through a thermal application. Droning is pretty cool in itself. Like the cameras and just being able to see up above. Like you can't do that in person. Only you can do it with a drone. So I always thought that was cool. But the fact that you can take that and make it a job. We're having the kids draw out a design of their choice, then we're having them build their design using Legos. They're really learning how to visualize what they want to build. The kids love it. They've been having such a great time playing with the Legos. I mean, everyone loves playing with Legos. I love playing with Legos. I'm an adult, so I think that they've been really having a fun time. And on the inside, you have kind of this like spongy material. We are showing the kids some invasive species. We are the vegetation management section, so we work with invasive species on our properties. We are talking to them about the things that we do here. We're showing them kind of the equipment that we use to be able to tackle these invasive species. They seem very interested. A lot of the kids had a lot of really great questions. We're having a great day. Very fun being able to educate these kids about some of the stuff that we do here at the district. This is our edible aquifer. We are teaching them about groundwater supply in Florida. We have ice for our forest rock layer down at the bottom. We have our Sprite for fluid movement in the aquifer, a confining layer of ice cream, an additional rock sand layer, and finally our topsoil and maybe some contaminants. This is financial soccer. This game helps them to learn different tips and tricks on how to manage their finances in a good way. We have prizes of cold hard cash for the winners. I feel like it's definitely important because how we learned about like 401ks in there, it really just helps set up because they don't really teach that in school. This is the district's multimedia studio. Saving water doesn't mean you can't be comfortable. Today we have about 50 kids. We're gonna run them through the station so they get a chance to be on air and read from a teleprompter as well as operate some of the audiovisual equipment. If you help with the yard, planting Florida-friendly plants is a great idea. There's really a lot of different career fields that they could go into. There's the behind the scenes stuff and then there's also the on-camera stuff. So this is communications types of careers and this is also audiovisual types of careers as well. Well, when I was really little, we were more into like making little movies with like friends and stuff and as I've gotten older it's become more of like a wanting to become not as much like a director more of like cinematography and like photography and stuff like that and all of this makes it look awesome <laughs> makes me want to do it more. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching and stay, stay water, water smart Florida. Florida. And this refrigerator in particular right now is at 2.3 degrees Celsius. Very hot in here. We're gonna simulate an oil spill 
I'm going to teach them how to use transfer pipettes, and we're also going to use centripetal force to do a spiralized painting. And we're going to play with hydrophobic sand, which is probably the most exciting part because that's sand that doesn't get wet. I'm getting a lot of wow and a lot of ooh, so so it, it's a lot of uh, a lot of maze, amazement from the kids. The turnout was amazing today. The kids have all had a really great time. I can't thank the staff and parents enough for bringing their kids and exposing them to such a cool thing. I think that our Take Your Kids to Work Day is kind of like no other. What's fun about today is number one, I get to come to my mom's work, and number two, I get to miss school.